Hello, we are working on now trying to figure out what some future values are. And so the way that we look at this, it's that fundamental equation that we use, which is showing that the future value is equal to the present value times one plus r to the t power, okay? Now just keep that, write that equation down, put it in your notes, put it there, and we're gonna move on into a couple of the other things, which is going to solidify and concrete what this equation actually means. Okay, so I have $100 that I stick into an account. Okay, I stick this into an account that is making 2% interest. Okay, I'm collecting 2% interest on that account. Okay, now I want to evaluate what's going to happen when I stick this in an account and it sits there for one year. This is a 2% annual rate. So what we can do is that, you know, just in your mind, what is that going to be? It's $102, okay? So we know we're going to take that $100 and we're going to multiply that by 1 plus R, right? Which is that 2%, so 1 plus 0 0.02, okay? 100 multiplied by 1.02. And what is that going to equal? That is going to equal $102, okay? Now we take that same $102 and we leave it in an account, right? It's been in there for a year. We now have $102 in our account and we're gonna leave it in there for another year, okay? So what we're gonna do is still getting 2% interest on it is that we're gonna take that $102 that we have and what are we gonna do to it? We are gonna do the same thing to it before. We're gonna compound interest on the top of that and that's going to be an amount of 1.02, right? Still compounding at 2%, which means that that value is going to be equal to 104.04, okay? So it's worth $104.04, okay? And this is after t equals 2, okay? So we're, we'll be there for two years. Okay, what about if we want to go into three years? What is, what's going to happen? What's that going to look like? Okay, so we're going to take that 104.04, we're going to multiply it by that 2%, and we're going to end up with 106.12. Okay, now what we can notice here, okay, what we notice here is that we did these, is that we took that $100 starting value, we compounded it for three time periods. Okay, so we took that $100, we multiply it by 1.02, which gave us the 102. We then multiply that by 102, which gave us another number, and we multiply that by 102. So we can write this out as 100 multiplied by 1.02, which gave us, right, the $102. We can then multiply that by the 1.02 again, which gave us the 10404, and we can multiply that again by the 1.02, okay, which gave us, of course, the 10612. Now, to simplify this, to simplify this whole thing, it's that we have three terms that are identical 1.02 multiplied by itself three times, okay? So that means that we could just take this value instead at 100 multiplied by 1.02 to the third power. Okay, this equation that I just set up right here is the exact same as the one that I started off with. Okay, so if we plug this in, you plug this in your calculator, 100 multiplied by 1.02 to the third power, what answer are we going to get for that? We are going to get the same number we got before, which is that 106.12. Exactly the same number doing the exact same math but we're just simplifying the process, okay? I hope that makes sense. Now I'm gonna just go do another example here, okay? So let's say we have an account we can put in, we have $460 in our name. We have $460 we wanna walk in and we wanna deposit into an account. We can buy an asset here that has a return of 4.3%, okay? And we're gonna leave it in the account for four years. How long, excuse me, how much am I going to have in four years? Excuse me. How much am I going to have in four years? Okay, 
One thing I could do is I could take this 460, multiply it by the 4.3%, get a value, multiply that again by 4.3%, get a value, multiply that again. But what we can do that makes it way easier is we can set this up using that basic equation, right? Which is future value equals present value times one plus R to the T power, okay? So we have presently $460, we multiply that by 1.043, 1 plus R, 1, and R is 0 0.043. Remember that those are basically the same thing. If you write the percentage in it, that is the percentage. Otherwise, you move the decimal point two places. Okay, and then we raise that to what power? To the fourth power. Then we take out our trusty calculator. We type in 1.043. Okay, we then raise it to the fourth power and multiply it by 460. And that means that we now have a future value of $544.37. Okay, that is solving for a future value. That is us putting an amount into an account and watching it grow, okay?